to my kitchen. Today, we're going to be cooking one quarter house steak and eggs. Now the first step to every good meal is, of course, washing your hands. It's very important that you wash your hands because you don't want to get any weird things on your steak. I mean, I know germs and stuff like that, they'll get burnt off in the oven, but it, it, dirt and grime, that, that'll always stay. Those aren't yummy. So we are going to be broiling our steak today. Broiling is one of the, well, a very common form of cooking. You put water in the bottom of the pan and you place whatever you want on top. Now, you know, get the juices to come in and out. It's very delicious. I, I do, I do recommend. Okay. So after you get a little bit of water in the pan, not too much to overflow it, now we start our process of cooking. So, we shall be choosing the high setting. for broil. Usually all ovens have this, but if you don't, fuck you. Port the porterhouse, very big steak, very delicious. Look, look at that, look at that meat, look at that slab. It's just, it's just all good. It's all good right there. You got bone, you got like the Filet mignon part and the New York strip part. You see, real New York, you know? I know my stuff. My mistake. This is, I'm, I don't really make mistakes, but you'll, you'll see why this steak isn't ready yet. Ready to be cooked. Gotta always wash your hands after touching the meat. That's a key factor. I'm a generous guy, so I like generously just put all that stuff on there, all right? And as such, I will do so. It's really delicious. Let me get some of that, some of that Himalayan, you know, Napoleon salt. Season the edges real good. That way they crisp up. Crisp up real good. Because if they ain't crisp, why eat it? Said Mark Martin Luther King Jr. I think. He, he has to have said that once. Maybe not in that order, but he's definitely said those words. Now that our meat is freshly seasoned. It's got all the all the good stuff, you know. Maybe spread it around town. Give it, give the whole thing some love, you know. And it'll it'll, it'll be delicious. Trust me, I'm, I'm certified by the FDA. All right. Then here's what we do. We we get the steak. Put that steak. Boom! Right there. Delicious. It's great. Wash the hands. Remember, always wash the hands. I swear to God, if you don't, I will murder you. You sick fuck. Okay? Get the mitts. Let me go. Boom. I'm, I'm a professional. I'm a professional. Now, technically, I don't, I don't need the mitts now, but I, I like them. They give me, they give me integrity. Put that steak in there and punch. just wait a few, wait, wait a little bit, you know, have some patience and boom, your steak's done. And it's, it's always delicious. 
trust me, it's always gonna be delicious. It's just, it's a good steak. It's amazing, okay? So, that is how we'll come. All right, don't worry about that. Just had a stroke. I know how to speak. You gotta, you gotta take your pills, Caden. You gotta, gotta take your pills, Caden. to take Took the pill. I'm fine now. I'm fine now. So anyways, back to this steak. I know you're really wondering what this steak is, okay? So, uh, what all we need is one knife, one fork. It's been cooking, it's been in the oven. Actually, let's take a peek at it right now. That's not ready. That's definitely not ready. Okay, Gaden, you're gonna have some patience. All right, anyways, while that steak's cooking, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a warm, nice cup of tea. Like a real Englishman. Like my, my father once said, and his father once said, why the fuck are you drinking tea, stupid? And I said, One tea kettle. If you don't have a tea kettle, get a pot, get a pan, wait for it to boil. Easier with a tea kettle. All you want, you just want to fill up a little bit, you know, get, get the juices flowing, and then, boom. Place that lid on there, and now you, now you got, now you got that. Now you got some tea. You go, boom, hi, and you wait. It's a waiting game. It's always a waiting game. You hear me? Look into my eyes. It's always a waiting game. Always. It's good. Trust me. You should drink tea more. You should. You should. I know. I know you're behind there, coffee drinker. You. You sick, freaking weirdo. I can't even believe you'd put. You. You drink a crushed up bean. Freaking a bean. Yeah, I'm gonna call you the bean boy. Yeah, yeah. That's what that's what I think about all your your coffee, you freaking weirdo. You, you communist. Let's see what type of tea we have on the menu today in my braided box. My brick my 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 braid my braided box. We got we got all these these wonderful teas. Got black green herbs. As our tea 
is cooking, we shall all think about why the British Empire has crumbled. It was, it was a sad day when the Empire finally dissolved in 1951 when they lost Hong Kong. I've never been the same ever since then. I was also born in the 2000s. Anyways, tea time! <sighs> I'm cooking my pills, and they, the doctor said don't drink tea afterwards. Wait, did the doctor say that? Confused. No, 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 it can't be. No. But yes. No. Why the British Empire fell? Because the tea. It's too powerful. Oh my God! How could I have been so dumb? The tea is... The tea is the enemy. No. No, that can't be true. That can't be... Can't be true. It's, no. No. You monster! You killed them all! That's it! Uh. I mean, it'd just be a waste if I threw this away. Now, forget what I said before. I was just going insane. Alright? If you can or cannot hear, it is whistling. It is full on whistle. It's like, shut the fuck up! And that's when you know the water's ready. It's South African and I can't pronounce it, so I'm not even going to try. It's six to five, six to five minutes, and then we'll be good. Throw that away, throw that away. Six to five minutes. No! No! Oh! Oh! <laughs> I dropped this in there. Oh no! Oh, that will have been, oh, that will have been bad. That would've been real bad. Oh shit, the steak! Not that bad. And it's... Not that bad. I did good. I did good, finally. Not that bad. That's... That's so amazing. Not that bad whatsoever. The combination of like the bread and butter. You smack it together and you, you you got a new thing. Or like you bake the bread and then you get crispier bread. Toast and toast and butter. It's good. Fuck you, bug. 
as I was saying, wash your hands afterwards. I know I was talking about the combinations and mixtures of meat, but I swear to God, if you get a fly in my food, I will attack you. Full throttle. Hand to neck. That's, that's the attack. So, so best beware. Guy at fucking Arby's. You know who I am. Okay, with your neck beard. I wanted my fries. And I'm going to get those goddamn fries one way or another. Whether you like it or not. Because I'm a hungry boy. And I'll freaking cook as much as I need to. To get a good goddamn meal. Remember, always wipe off after you wash. Or else the water will make it slippery and you'll probably drop something and burn yourself. Just like I did. Three years ago. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, look at this steak. Mmm, that's a good ass, fine ass steak. Oh, look at that. That's just. Man. That melt in my mouth. Alright. I'm gonna see if it's too rare or not rare enough. It's gonna be fucking rare. I can just tell. That's a rare steak right there. No one really wants it. Fuck the tea! Oh no! Oh, get the get that bag out of here. Eat! No, it fell on the floor! Oh, this is going not to plan! Oh, it's, it's everywhere! Oh, it's on the wall! Oh, Jesus Christ! Anyways, tea time, tea review. This was South African herbal tea. Let's take a taste. The scent is quite delicious, quite mesmerizing. It really opens up your soul. It really makes you believe. Sometimes I like that in my tea. And it's got some like flavor. I can't quite describe it. It's like it's not spicy, but it's almost a wee bit tang. Tang, yes. very savory though. Man, I just love it. I love it so much. Can't wait. Have another sip. Ah. But that tea? That's a type of tea that anyone would love. Perfect color. Perfect taste. Oh, spooked. Smoke. It's a lot of steam. Is it? Oh my god. Oh no. What was in that tea? No. 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 I. This is a cooking show. No. 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 I need to. Doctor told you not to take the pill and drink the tea. Doctor told you. Well, look what got you here now. Anyways, back to the steak cooking show. Remember, always wash your hands before touching your meats or else you're gonna get something in there that you don't like. And remember, after you're done washing, always wipe up or else you're gonna get water in there and it's not gonna be fun. Let's take a look.
another test. Now, I swear, if this is still rare, I'm calling a fire, the fire department or something. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's... That's good. That is... Mm, now that's the pink I was looking for. Gotta be careful about the water underneath. That is very hot and can fuck you up. This shit can fuck you up because that's boiling water under there. Broil stands for boil, but reverse, okay? So, cool. Cancel that. Jesus. This is gonna be a good ass steak. Oh, look at that. Look at that beauty. That beauty. Oh my god. It's it's beautiful. Bone and all. Oh. It, it's it's just gonna be amazing. Let's see. This shit's gonna be hot. It's gonna be super freaking hot. Yeah, just like Will Smith says, that's hot. That's hot. That's one tasty fucking steak. It was just a joke. Get pranked, loser.